Namaskar, Namaste, and welcome to Talent Hunt. What a special episode to celebrate Raksha Bandhan. We are really, really happy and excited to have this two beautiful, two beautiful child artists with us tonight. They are siblings, yes. Dia and Jyotishman is with us here tonight. We are going to talk about, of course, the sibling rivalry, if they have any, and of course, how they love each other. Don't you want to know? We would love to know that. So let's welcome Dia and Jyotishman. Hi, Dia. Hi, Jyotishman. How are you? And welcome to this beautiful episode of Raksha Bandhan. Hi, I'm good. Um, thank you so much for having us on this show. I'm also well. Thank you for having us. Welcome. And uh, really, Dia, you have a wonderful voice. And thank you so much for starting our show with this beautiful Saraswati Vandana. I mean, this really made me feel like that I'm not here in August. I'm in February and we are literally in the puja. But uh, thank you so much for uh, bringing me back those days, those cold days and everything. Thank you so much for that. Loved it. So, Dia and Jyotishman, first I'm going to ask you this, that how you guys spent this year's Raksha Bandhan? Um, in this year, we've, uh, we've shared lots of different interactions, and I feel like um, on Raksha Bandhan, it was, it was just a way to just reminisce about all the years we've spent together. Um, not, so not just think about like 
our rivalry, our fights, but also how we bonded and how we've helped each other. So I think it was just a really positive, um, really positive moment. Mm -hmm. And, I, um, and, and I think that uh, you got some great gifts, isn't it? So we would love to know about that as well. And what was, uh, what was Jyotishman's thinking about that? So I actually think that all the Rachabandhan, it is kind of like a bonding between brother and sister and it helps uh, show like how much they love each other and how much they care. And like they get gifts so they can show like, oh, um, I respect you and like, I love you. So here, take this as an offer. Oh, that is so sweet of you. So you guys uh, really don't fight. That's what I have to believe. Or do you fight also a little bit? Um, it gets a little heated. It used to, we used to fight a lot about very trivial things, but now we just kind of um, trans transformed into, um, just transformed into um, a nice, like chill, Pers chill perspective we we love to work together um we love laughing together but sometimes we still fight it's um it's a trait between brothers and sisters so yeah absolutely there are few things always uh, goes between the sisters or the brothers or even the brother and the sister so uh jyotishman we would love to Hear something from you. Uh, friends, Jyotishman is actually the instrumentalist here, as Dia is the singer. So Jyotishman is actually a disciple of Pandit Tarun Bhattacharya. And Jyotishman, so what you are going to play for our viewers tonight? So I'm playing a combination in Rag Bali in Tintal. And it's going to have some dance with the gut and a few tea highs after some Thoughts. Beautiful. So let's hear that, friends. experiences i can say experiences because both of you are here in the same screen so um what uh, you can share with my viewers about your experiences with your gurus so i have two gurus i learned from pandit tarun bhattacharya and guru shelly rock chowdhury um something i really love about both of them is that they're very spirited and their mind is full of innovation um, I love just testing out different combinations. 
um, different different styles and ways of singing, um, different ways of using my voice as well. So I've definitely learned how to um, make my voice more powerful um, with their teachings, and I and I I'm really appreciative of that with them. So I thank you, um, Guruji. Thank you, um, thank you, Didi, which is uh, Guru Shelley Rock Chowdhury. And how about you, Jyotishman? Um, I actually uh, also learned from Bandit Dharmapatacharya, and I like the way he teaches. He also teaches me starting off with a gut and then kind of showing me like all different thoughts and bistars during the rock. I like it very much, and I am also part of his school. And I do the instrumental with him, and I usually have a class every week. And I'm about to do my final exam for pre primary in like a few days. Okay, all right, wow. So, uh, who really motivated you guys? Because uh, you both are in music and you both love it. So, who is there who told you that you have to do this, or you guys chose it by yourself? Um, I'll be honest, at first, I needed a little bit of pushing from my parents, um, because um, when you go into something new, you'll always, you'll view it as something that you don't, um, because you don't understand it yet, you'll view it as something like, oh, a chore, or something that you, you just, uh, you have as an obligation to do. But then as you grow into it, I started loving and appreciating music. I started to have fun with it. Um, it doesn't always have to be serious. You can be lighthearted. Um, that's, um, that's just the beauty of life. You can be lighthearted. You can be serious, have amazing memories where you wish you just had a rewind button in life. So um, that's definitely the experience that I've had with music. Of course, there's failure. There are days where I don't pull things off really well but um but then um I have fun with it I yeah I have fun with it I experiment and I find myself just engrossed in the music so um from from being pushed a little bit I've started to grow into loving music how about you so actually, to start off, I never wanted to play any instrument, and I always told myself that like I didn't want to do anything for this just like my career because like I never liked to do that stuff. I just like to play on my uh, phone and stuff. And then all of a sudden, um, Ma, my mom, got me a rabab, which is an Afghan instrument, and then I started to like it. And I used to teach from a uh, funded case SR. And I would uh, do classes like weekly and I would learn new thoughts, like dance with new rugs. And then uh, after that, I felt that something wasn't right. So I decided to switch to Santur. And Ma also helped me kind of transition from the Rabat to the Santur because the Santur was a completely new instrument, like a completely different way of sitting and holding it and like a completely different way of Play. Dia, we would love to listen something from you since uh, we are talking about music, motivation. So why don't you sing something for our viewers? Um, absolutely. I would love to sing. Um, I would love to sing a little bit. Um, I'm singing Rag Jai Jai Vanti. So Rag is just, um, just a unique scale where you just, you sing um, you sing notes in a certain way. You have certain notes in in a subtak, which is an octave. And um, so I'll be singing a very short composition. It'll just be the Chota Kyal, which is a fast song. And then I'll sing some tans, which are just fast, um, fast compositions that are more skillful. Beautiful. Let's hear.
And thank you so much for the short and sweet rendition. I know the time is short, guys. And, you know, that's why we just want to go with every single bit that these two kids are doing. I think that, uh, Dia, you are in the middle school and uh, Jyotishman is in um, the elementary, right? Am I right for that? Actually, we are actually both in high school. <laughs> Guys, I don't want you to grow up, okay? Mom <laughs> told me that, but I want to make sure that you guys are little because this is so hard. Like, why you guys are growing so fast and fast and fast? Really, really amazing. But hey, listen, why I ask that question is that even like being in high school, I know that you guys are going through with lots of challenges. And of course, the time, right? The study time, the Riyadh time. How you guys are managing with all this? Um, it's definitely a lot to work with, um, when you think about it all in one sitting, but, um, I think prioritizing what you think about is really important. So if you have something today, don't think about something you're going to do next month. Worry about the things that are important in, in, the, um, in the here and now, and that will take you a long way because you won't be overthinking about future things that don't need to be thought about right now. So that's one really good thing to, to introduce. And then also some tips that I have is um, creating a schedule, um, how long you should supposedly work on something, and then how much you should get done from that one sitting. Um, if you have any, and you should take breaks, of course, five minute break, 10 minute break, or even try to reward yourself after you finish a task that will definitely alleviate the stress a little bit and also feel um, help you feel achieved that you completed something out of your busy schedule. So that those are just two really good tips. And Jyotishman, what do you think about it? Uh, about high school, I think it starts to become like a really big workload. Like you get a lot more work than you expect in middle school. 
And since you have to always like worry about like whether you're gonna do good or great with your grades or not, and since they actually matter depending on which college you go to, uh -huh. and also all the AP classes and honors are all like kind of stacking up, and like all of the work is just kind of making you feel like there's too much work for you, but actually it's kind of just the beginning. So true, guys, but I'm really happy that you are taking the both world with you together because academic and music, they have their own way of uh, doing things, right? So I'm really glad that you are maintaining your classes and you are practicing together. This is really amazing, amazing. So what, uh, guys, what do you love to do when you are on vacation? Because we just passed with the summer vacation, right? So what were you two up to and what what you did together i mean together or alone maybe you have different choices for your hobbies so if jyotishman can say a few words about it first um for the hobbies that we did over the summer like i started to do some origami and i actually started karate before the end of summer break and i'm still continuing and i've also like done some kind of if you'd like say um, studying, like I actually, since I'm going into high school, I started to like practice reading because I never liked to like read books or stuff. And since it's coming like a lot more handy in high school because you have to start to read like textbooks and all of the different uh, books for your ELA, then I've just started to um, practice reading. And I also like to play some games while in I'm in summer and enjoy like my time off school while I can. Okay, and how about Dia? What, what Dia loves to do? So um, as, as um, summer break started, I just, I just viewed it as my time for myself because in high school, you always feel like, oh, I always have something to do. I always have this to do, that to do. I, it's like you're, you're, um, you're trying to take a stop, but the car is your car, the car keeps moving. So it's a lot of pushing during the school year. So I just thought summer break was a really good time to relax and just stop. And um, and what I what I really loved doing was one playing video games with my friends. That was it was very fun. And also with COVID as well, we were able to engage with each other online and keep the bond fresh. So video games is really good. And also I have a huge, huge passion for cooking and baking food. So every, so now it's every weekend, I would um, ask my dad to, uh, I would send my dad a list, he would buy, buy all the things I need, bless him for that. And I would make whatever I would want. Um, I would share it with friends. I would and I would share it with my family. Um, I just viewed it as a way of sharing love. So cooking is a really good, um, is one of my biggest passions. Um, I also love scientific research. Um, I love th um, thinking about scientific problems in the world and thinking of just innovative and um, creative solutions to those problems and just investigating more into science and research. Um, I'm I'm actually doing, um, I'm actually starting to get into more, more experiments in science um, in the school year. So I'm really excited about that. I've also done, um, I've also done a lot of summer programs as well, as well as volunteering. And, um, and then obviously singing. And um, I've also, I've picked up violin and then it, it got um, stuck, like the progress got stuck last year. So I picked up, um, I tried to pick up violin again and it was, it was just a really good summer where I could just sit down, relax. Lovely. Wow. Look at that. Uh, scientists we have among us. Oh my goodness. That's awesome, Dia. And uh, so when, I do believe that you also perform in your school sometime. Is it so? Um, yes, we, I haven't performed at school, um, in the past couple of years because of COVID, but earlier we had some talent shows 
and I would perform, I would perform at school there. Um, I would also um, perform online and it would be posted on our school website so people would see it. Mm -hmm. I also have my own website as well. It's called diazworld.com and I have, um, I have videos of um, my singing and also I have a published book. So that is also on my website. Oh, beautiful. Lovely, lovely. Thank you so much, uh, both of you, for your time. And I do believe that our viewers, you love this two beautiful, beautiful child, I can say. And yes, a great sibling bonding we just saw. And uh, really, I want to encourage you more in playing and singing because music is such a fantastic thing that you will have if if you learn that it will be with you forever forever and that's what you really need in your lifestyle later on as well uh, so i would love to hear from jyotishman as we are going away for tonight and of course we'll be back next week with another beautiful beautiful performer from us and maybe that person is your neighbor your friend you don't know and if you guys want to join talent hunt what you have to do is you have to just send us email at ragini at manatv.net that is r-a-a-g-i-n-i at m-a-n-a-t-v.net just record yourself 90 seconds only and send your videos to us and of course if we love you like you we would love to share this platform with you. So before we go, I want to ask Jyotishman to say a few words to our viewers who are really teeny tiny or maybe in your age and want to try something new in their life. What would be your words to them? Um, I would say you should always follow your dreams and even though you always feel like you're never going to succeed, you always will one day succeed and you should always keep trying no matter what. So let's hear Jyotishman playing the piece right now. And friends, we have to take your leave and I'll be back again next week. Stay safe, stay well and stay with us. Stay with us. And of course, love us, like us and share our videos with everybody. Thank you so much. God bless. Love you. Bye.